little spot I like. So I hope you'll join me today as we chat. Mycelium, weather, my favorite YouTube channels on mushrooms, etc., etc. Here we go. Okay, there's not much going on in February, except for my big open yak. So I'm gonna tell you guys some tips, some secrets, some predictions, and a big announcement. Join me today and we can free together. I came out early to this beautiful spot so there wouldn't be any people. That's how much I love you. And as if the sound quality on my videos isn't crappy enough, I am filming today in front of this spectacular waterfall. So I may have to do voiceovers. We'll see how bad it is. But it's just so freaking beautiful in February um, that I thought I'd show it to you. And today we're going to talk about all kinds of things, weather predictions, my favorite YouTube channels for mushroom hunting, uh, different types of morels, why morels and the Marcella genus is both saprophytic and mycorrhizal at different points of its life cycle more than likely. More than likely. So, oh, and I have a super big, a super big announcement for the end. So watch it till the end. And I'll sprinkle in lots of clips of spring and mushrooms I pick just to keep it interesting. Okay, you know what to do. Join me today and be the shroom. Howdy shroomers, happy 2023. I've got a bunch of cool information for you today. And I may do split screen so you can see what we're dreaming about, morel mushrooms, and that'll all be picked from last year. But it's 2023 February. I'm at this beautiful waterfall. And I wanted to let you know the coolest thing of all. The first morel mushroom has been found in the United States. More on this after my lovely disclaimer. Remember when you forage wild edibles to be 100% certain of what you are IDing. Use multiple sources. You are solely responsible for what you decide to eat and what you identify. And please don't be a bonehead and trespass on private property without permission. That's a no-no. Pause this video and put in the comments what state you think the first morel mushroom was found in 2023. Tick tock, tick tock. Hawaii! Hawaii has what looks like um, the Mortella Americana of the uh, contiguous US, but it's probably something else. We're well over 10, 15 subspecies of morels in the US. And without a spore identification under a microscope or DNA analysis, most of the time, it's very difficult to tell exactly which species you have. When I identify a morel mushroom subspecies, it is based on my cumulative knowledge, the area, the time of year, etc. Okay, congrats Hawaii, woohoo! So usually this time of year, California is the first state that will get morel fruiting. There is this subspecies called Morchella importuna, that is saprophytic for this life cycle and uh, fruits on and eats wood chips. So a lot of people will find the mushrooms fruiting in their driveways or flower beds. You're gonna see some of those being mentioned probably before the first morel mushroom in Georgia, which is typically around the first week of March. Now, weather uh, these days is crazy, so anything can happen if you have freak warm-up. Microclimates are another thing to be aware of. That's like something like rocks here that warm up or rivers that keep the soil colder. Um, you know, when you're hunting morels in spring, you're looking for a south-facing, really green area first. And then throughout the season, the green continues. So if you want to know what morel mushroom festivals are going to be in your area, uh, click on the title of this video to open the description box and I will copy and paste that for you uh, for 2023. Now, you know, you want to check back uh, because things are added as they are published. So, okay, weather, my predictions, what you've been waiting for. So can people predict morel season? 
Nope. But I just looked at the NOAA Science Center and they said there's an 82% chance that this La Nina weather pattern that we've been in is going to go away and give us a neutral spring, which means Yahoo, let's hope we have a slow warm up and plenty of precipitation. It seems like there's a better than average chance of that for the United States. So 82% chance of a normal spring, probably not in every state, probably not in every area. But that's really good news that we're not in a major weather pattern of dryness or flooding, extreme. Now here's a little secret. As the slow spring warm-up happens, it might get super hot for a few days. You're gonna wanna check your soil temps, and I have a video about that. You're gonna wanna check your spring signs, your plants, flowers, wildlife, amphibians. I have a video about that, everything in the description box. Learn to identify your trees, video about that description box and you should do really well one thing that happened last year was a second mass fruiting in wisconsin temperatures got up to 90 but the soil temperatures weren't too hot remember 62 degrees four inches down morel stopped fruiting so i went north and it rained and the temperature went down to the 30s and 40s for a couple nights and that shocked the morel mycelium underground to putting up more fruiting bodies so watch your temperatures when they fluctuate. Watch your precipitation when you get it. Those are good times to pop out into the woods. And when it's real mushroom season in your area, definitely pop out every couple days and check your spots. Remember morel star fruiting? The main morel spring fruiting in Georgia around the first week of March. And in general, morels travel north about 100 miles every week. That's a generalization. Remember microclimates, remember weird weather patterns, um, and you may find a mass fruiting your own self. Happy hunting, be the shroom. Yeah, so some of the new thinking about uh, Morchella genus is that it is both mycorrhizal and saprophytic at different times of its life cycle or when under stress. What this means is, yes, there's a strong tree association that you can count on, but also if there aren't any trees, the mycelium can live underground for who knows how long. Um, if there is a food source, maybe decaying or wood matter or ash or various things. And this explains uh, why people find morels in weird places, like in the open fields or um, you know, in a driveway, gravel driveway. So that makes sense to me. Uh, morels fruit where they fruit, obviously, but you can increase your odds of finding them by having the knowledge of the tree association or the species like, uh, subspecies like the Impotuna that love wood chips in California and kind of regional, or black morels that up north in Wisconsin that like two different kinds of pine trees, jack and white pine that I found them under. You name it, variety. Oh, the joy of freezing your flowers. I'm freezing flowers. My... It is freezing. Okay, so the most common Morchella subspecies in the Midwest, Morchella americana, Morchella Uh Morchella punctipes, punctipes. Uh, some less common ones above the 44th parallel, Morchella septrionalis. Um, a morel that loved tulip trees, Morchella diminutiva, and uh, probably a bunch of other ones that we can't identify visually that look similar, that need a DNA analysis or a spore check under a microscope. So I am waiting, just like you are, in the freezing cold of February for spring. Check out my old holy hat. Woohoo! One dollar at a major sporting goods kind of uh, bust out sale, whatever, in 1998. Went to the top of Kilimanjaro, went all over the world with me, and I still put it on in spring when it's cold when I hunt morel mushrooms. A buck. Look how it lasted. Raggedy, but I still keep my ears warm. That's the key. Uh, time for a little love. I'm gonna tell you some of my favorite mushroom channels on YouTube. My number one favorite 
um, is Mushroom Wonderland. This is for the mycology-minded person who wants more details about scientific names for the Pacific Northwest. Uh, down south, you got your Johnny Fish. Everybody's got to subscribe to Johnny Fish. He's an epic fisherman and he loves finding morels like I do. He's got the passion. So he will take you on journeys uh, throughout spring to find big donkeys, um, all kinds of mushrooms in the south like cottonwood. So you want to check out his channel. Um, learn your land. That is for the east like Pennsylvania and East. Um, that's a great channel. Of course, my channel is Midwest based. Um, and I try and do progression videos like because I travel down south to, to meet the morels and meet the spring and then follow them up north. Um, that's Tattoo Granny, if you haven't guessed. So those are a few of my favorites. There's a tiny channel called I See Fungi, which has just a lot of shorts, which is cool. And any of these channels that ever want to collaborate, and I'm down. for those of you stuck all the way to the end with me, my true believers, I have a huge announcement. I am making for you the first ever science fiction classic, The Morel Tricks, a parody loosely based on The Matrix about a forever digital winter that our hero, Corio must free the world from to bring about real spring and the morel mushroom hunting season. Uh, making that and also for April 8th, 2024, its sequel, Morel Tricks Eclipse. So there will be previews on the short speed, so under a minute, and they will let you know when that will be premiering. I still have some more edits and some more filming to do. Morel Tricks 2023, baby. My idea, the granny story. Morale Tricks has been a hoot to make. It is made on no budget, no acting classes, and there's a special appearance by the big man as the mycelium master. Epic. Yes, it's lame, but yes, it's good hearted fun. So please tune in when Morale Tricks premieres. There will be shorts that let you know when that is. And if you're uh, subscribed to my channel and you hit that notification bell, you will be notified. That's still a few weeks away. But that will be a treat for April. A nice spring, wholesome, <laughs> uh, family movie. Sci-fi. Oh yeah.